A fire pump is a part of a fire sprinkler system. The pump set we have here consists of one diesel pump, one jockey pump, and one main pump. The pump intake could be connected to the public underground water supply piping or a static water source like tank. The main code that governs fire pump installations is the National Fire Protection Association's NFPA 20 standard for the installation of stationary fire pumps for fire protection. Jockey pumps are small, motor-driven pumps used in conjunction with main fire pumps to compensate for minor leaks in the fire protection system and automatically maintain standby pressure. This reduces wear on the main pump and controller caused by unnecessary, frequent operation. When the water pressure drops below the preset level, the pressure switch energizes a starter which activates the jockey pump. Correct water pressure is therefore maintained at all times. If a fire should start, the pressure will continue to drop and the main fire pump will start. Jockey pumps are usually sized at 3% of the main fire pump rated capacity. Based on fire pump start and stop settings from NFPA 20, which states as follows. 1. The jockey pump stop point, or cutoff, should equal the pump churn pressure plus the minimum static supply pressure. 2. The jockey pump start point, or cut on, should be at least 10 psi less than the jockey pump stop point. These settings are then provided here, so the jockey pump will start and stop automatically based on the system pressure. Let's do the experiment here. I'll open the drain test valve on the discharge line to reduce the system pressure. As you can see the pressure is decreasing. Once it reaches the preset cut on pressure, 78 psi or 5.3 bars in our case, the jockey pump will start automatically. Jockey pump stopped automatically as you see when it reached the cutoff pressure. For the main pump, NFPA 20 states the follows. The fire pump start point should be 5 psi or 0.34 bar less than the jockey pump start point. Now, in order to test the main pump, I am going to turn the jockey pump controller to the off position so that the jockey pump will not start when the system pressure decreases to 78 psi. That will allow the system pressure to decrease more and the main pump should start at 73 psi or 5 bars, as we said the start pressure for main pump is 5 psi less than jockey pump start pressure. I will open the test valve again and monitor what is going to happen. The pressure continues to drop beyond 5.3 bars as you can see, and no pump will start because the jockey pump controller is put on off position. When the pressure reached 5 bars, the preset cut on pressure of the main pump, the main pump starts automatically and stops automatically at the cutoff pressure settings. In order to test the diesel pump, the same step should be performed. The jockey and the main pump controllers both should be placed on off position. Note that the diesel pump should start automatically at 10 psi less than the main pump cut on pressure, and it should be stopped manually. If you like this video, please subscribe for more future videos.